happy Saturday. I am on my way to the church right now to catch the bus. Well, it's more like a van, a church van, to head down to the Imperial Valley where we're going to be having our sister church service, daughter daughter church service. I, I don't know how they classify those things. Anyway, our other church service, we're having that tonight and I'm playing drums for it. So we're I'm heading down this morning. It's a all day affair. We go down this morning, we set up, we have the service, we tear down, we drive all the way back. And it's a four hour drive one way. So eight hours on the road today. I've done this once before and it was uh, it was a long day. And when you come back, since it's like one in the morning, the driver of the van cranks the air conditioning so they don't fall asleep. The problem is I didn't come prepared for that. This time I did, I've got two pillows, a big old blanket. Oh, Chelsea told me to bring a jacket and I forgot a jacket. Dang it. Oh well. Hopefully I can tough it through with just a blanket and some pillows. Success, I have made it to the church. And early, so that's good. There's cars here, and the church vans are both still here. So I haven't gotten left, but there's usually people in the parking lot. And I don't see any people, so I'm really hoping that I'm in the right spot. I'm pretty sure I am. Whoa, there's somebody. I'm good. All right, the van is here. So the key mission of a road trip when there's multiple people going in a van is getting in early so you get a good seat. So the big one's taken, which that's fine. I don't want to sit up front, man. I want to sit back, back here somewhere, right? And probably, oh man, so many choices. I feel like, like this one, maybe. I don't know, man. I, I talk a big game, but I have no idea which seat is best. On the road again. We're driving in and we're in a van. We're on the road again. There's a little mini, but we're on the road again. Well, almost. We're stuck in the driveway now. <laughs> no, I'm waiting. Actually, no. Just notice something. If we were in an airplane, this would be a bad deal because we're all on one side of the van. There's nobody on the other side. So if we take a turn too fast, we're tipping. Pit stop. Got to fuel up with donuts and coffee. I'm not a coffee guy, I can't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, the desert. We're way out here now. This road is the bumpiest road I've ever been on. We might be through them now. I'm not sure. No. So this. Ah! Here comes a good one. Oh man. They already tossed me into the roof once in my head. Right here. Yeah. Almost there. Well, we've made it safely. Thanks to our amazing driver, John. Thanks, John. And it's hot. It's gotta be like 130, probably? 130 degrees? 140? 104. That's what I said, 140. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculously hot. But luckily we're going inside at the mall. Find some air conditioning. That'll be nice. Sweet. This mall has a carousel. I just go for a ride later. Lunch is over, we're back in the air conditioned van, thank goodness, because it's now up to 150. And we were talking about, well I was talking about how I don't like being hot, but I don't like being cold either. So we were talking about ideal locations to live and I brought up Fiji. However, Joanna here says that there are cannibals that live in Fiji. Is this true? Yes. Very There's awesome. really cannibals that live in Fiji? Yes! Where did you find this information? On the internet? On the internet! Because <laughs> everything that's on the internet is true. <laughs> did you find it in a Facebook article? No. Okay, alright. Well anyway, so my question is, how do cannibalistic tribes survive? Don't they end up just eating each other? Like if you, like if I was a pizza, I love pizza, I'd end up eating myself. So how, if, if cannibalistic tribes eat people, they are people, therefore don't they eat themselves? Right? Right, back me up, man. Right? I don't know. How do they, how do they, like, sustain their population if they just eat each other? They eat the tourists. <laughs> but what are tourists doing going to cannibalistic tribes? Like, oh, hey, so Tuesday we're going to the beach. 
uh, Wednesday we're gonna see these nice ruins, and then Thursday, bring your cameras, because we're gonna go check out some cannibals. <laughs> Don't expect to come back. Come on, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Don't, hey, if you guys are going on vacation, don't go where the cannibals are. A little PSA from Lucas to you. Hey guys, so it is 5 p.m. and I just got out of the shower, put on some makeup, and got dressed for the day. 5 p.m. This is the problem when Lucas isn't around on a Saturday is I got stuck in a YouTube vortex where you watch video and then you watch another video and then you watch another video. And now it's 5 p.m. and I haven't done a thing with my day, but I am sitting down to eat some cotton candy because <laughs> we have so much left over. And I think cotton candy goes bad after a while, so I have to eat it. I have to eat it all. It does go bad, right? Doesn't it get like hard? After like a few days, a couple days, after one day, I don't know. Still tastes good though, so I'm gonna eat it. So now that I'm dressed, what am I gonna do with my day? Besides eat cotton candy. I think, well I told Lucas I was gonna do laundry today, but I lied. I didn't lie, I just didn't know. I wasn't thinking, but I don't have any quarters. And we have to have quarters to do laundry at our apartment complex. And I don't really want to go to a laundromat on a Saturday because they're probably going to be busy. And I don't want to do that. So, I think I'm going to do a Dollar Tree round. There are three Dollar Trees kind of, kind of close to where I live. I think I'm going to do the rounds today. Do them all because Lucas isn't here to complain. So I'm going to do it. Hmm. That piece was crunchy. We've made it to the school where we will now set up. So here's the stage now, not set up yet. And out here, not set up yet. Every Saturday, we set all this up and then tear it back down. Craziness, right? I'll show you what it looks like here when we're done. Yes, all done. Now we're sound checking for practice. And then it's showtime. Look, isn't it, isn't it so pretty? Oh man. And we got some lyrics up there and seating. This is gonna be so fun. Well, practice is a wrap. Sounded pretty good, except I'm a little deaf because I was wearing earplugs. And now my head feels all swollen, but that's okay. I still feel fine. It just feels weird. Uh, anyway, so now I gotta go get changed. It is like 20 minutes till the service starts. So uh, yeah, get changed, get in the mood, and then it's showtime. Look at, this, look at this pastor. Look at this pastor guy walking around like he's the pastor of this church or something. Yeah, he's the boss man. All right, I'm changed. It's 5:52 when I was told to be on stage. I'm here at my drums. It's time to do this. I don't know where anybody else is. There's people. We'll wait for it. There it is. There they are. You see him. Here's my office for the evening. And my buddy Tim over there on guitar. He's in the zone. All right, here we go. Well, I didn't end up going to three different Dollar Trees. I only went to one because after the first one, I spent enough money. I didn't need to go to another two Dollar Trees. That was silly. But I did go to a Target and I did go to McDonald's and get some iced tea. So all in all, a success. Take two. So all in all, a successful outing. How are you doing today, bud? How are you? How? Oh, hello. I feel kind of wrong about this, but I made pizza for dinner tonight. It just doesn't seem right eating pizza without Lucas here because that's his favorite food. It feels like I should be eating something that I really like, like salads, but yet Pizza is really the only thing that sounded good, so I'm gonna eat pizza. Well, that's a wrap on service. It was great, and it was loud, just how I like it. Maybe too loud, but I don't care because I love to rock. Now we're celebrating Pastor's birthday, so they got a lot of food back here. So I'm gonna stuff my face, then we're gonna pack everything up. And it's like eight o'clock now, so hopefully it's a little cooler. I'm gonna pack everything up, 
and then it's four hours back to LA and we're doing it all again tomorrow morning. Woohoo! Well, the teardown process has begun and it is a process. But as soon as we're done, it's on the road. Hopefully hit a gas station, get some snacks. And then it's like a three and a half hour nap all the way back home. I'm back at it today, back at the organizing. Making more messes, but hopefully it's going to be better when I'm done. And hopefully I can get it all kind of cleaned up before Lucas gets home. <sighs> all right, last stop before we head home. And it smells like cow turds. Mmm. I'd never really thought of like deserty California being like farmland, but it definitely is. On the flip side, check out these cool trees. Chelsea would appreciate these trees. I feel like if we had trees in our, if well, if we had a house, and if that house had trees in the front yard, she would probably do that to them. Because it does look pretty cool. I feel like I need to get a snack because it's the time to get a snack, but I'm not really hungry, so I may just get in the van and fall asleep. I think that's my plan. So, I'll see you guys in four hours. We did it. We made it home. Well, we made it back to the church. Haven't made it home yet. There's still that trip to do. But, you know, the important long trip is done. What a night. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It always is. But now, gotta go home get about four, five hours of sleep, and back here and do it again. Only this time it doesn't involve eight hours of road tripping. I told Lucas that I would try to stay awake until he got home from the Imperial Valley today, and I knew it was gonna be late because they usually get back pretty late, and I did it. It is 1.14 a.m. I'm still awake and Lucas just texted that he was on his way home. I'm excited I did it and I'm gonna be awake when he gets home and then I can see him and then I can give him a big old kiss. OMG, 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 Lucas is home. <laughs> <laughs> he's a zombie Lucas, but he's a Lucas. Yeah. Any Lucas is a good Lucas for me to have. Mm -hmm. I would like when I got back to the church because I kind of woke up when I got there and then like I'm like all right we made it and you have like oh yay exciting and it's like oh wait I still have to drive home which is not that far it's like 15 20 minutes maybe but then you're like driving that and I'm already tired and I'm just kind of there's not that many cars out mm -hmm. and so you kind of get like highway hypnotism mm -hmm. and I was just like oh goodness I wasn't tired, I was just like, wow, I'm... Or I wasn't falling asleep. I was just like, wow, I'm really tired. I need to get home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm here, and, and I'm super thirsty. Yeah, get a drink. Okay, all right. All right, well, this is, I guess, the only uh, part of the video where we get to be together, but something's better than nothing, that's mine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get you a sweet tea today. That's okay. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be together tomorrow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bye, guys.